know, Ralph, is everything okay? He goes, yeah, you know, this is my daughter um, uh, is telling me that there's a dance 10 o'clock in the morning and he's supposed to be with me oh, 10 o'clock right. in the morning. Okay. And, uh, but the, the daughter wrote, but that is important. And that she, he had taught her about the word important. Mm -hmm. And in that moment for him to be able to say, um, we need to re reschedule. And here I am coming from another country to just spend time. But he knew his priorities. Like in that moment, I felt so proud. So we were talking this morning while we were setting up uh, about your recent travels to Germany. And I'm really curious about, A, maybe what you learned in your travels, because I think traveling's good for everyone, but also what kind of things that we talk about in the dojo when you're traveling overseas, going to new places, are there any ideas that kind of stick with you as you're traveling and, and doing these sort of things? Absolutely. I mean, the whole idea of the traveling for me started a, a few years back when I saw a sign when I went to Australia um, in the airport that says, um, cover the earth before it covers you. And I remember just seeing that in my whole and I, I got goosebumps, you know, kind of thinking like, what does that mean, you know? So anyway, then I welcomed the opportunities to travel. Then I went to a few different places. But my recent one to Germany, of course, the highlight was just sharing my art right. um, with a few schools. I did six different seminars um, for six different beautiful schools in Germany. And um, two highlights that I had is I went to Berlin, I, I saw the wall, and I had no idea about the history of the wall, so I, you know, spent some time with that. Then uh, my host also took me to um, Dachau, which is the constant, second biggest oh, concentration wow. camp. How was that? And uh, so that was, a, that was an eerie experience to be able to be there. The, one of the things about that is that I went with another couple and my host, um, Mohammed, and uh, is that and they're German, you know, and they've never been there. So because right. of me, it kind of, you know, uh, you know, they went and they were even, I think they were taken back more than I was. Right. And I'm sitting there going, I'm a foreigner. I come from another, you know, country and I right. want to see this. And you guys haven't, you know what I mean? But it was great for all of us to be able to share that from different points, you know. But I think if there was one thing that really stuck, that made me feel good as a teacher, is that we uh, is this with this gentleman called Ralph in uh, in Switzerland, and that was um, we talked about the importance of what's important and what's urgent. And this is Stephen Covey's time management, you know, right. thing. And uh, the, you know, if it's something that's important, you know, like even with my kids, when they ask for something, if they say it's important, I don't care what it is. We don't we, we don't use the word important that often. But if they do, I will drop the world for them, you know? Mm -hmm. But they don't take advantage of it either. You know what I mean? Right. Like this, okay. oh, you okay. know, it's not that important that I, you know, forget it. But we're talking about things that we should spend more time on, things that are important, not urgent. And I remember wanting to meet with, with Rolf in the morning and uh, uh, for, his, for his traveling. And, and, you know, I mean, he, you know, you know, they're paying me for a whole day spending time with them and educating them. But, you know, he got a call last the night before saying his daughter has a dance recital. And I was at dinner and I'm looking at his text. He kind of kind of dropped his eye and I went, Ralph, is everything okay? He goes, yeah, you know, this is my daughter um, uh, is telling me that there's a dance 10 o'clock in the morning and he's supposed to be with me oh, 10 o'clock right. in the morning. Okay. And, uh, but the, the daughter wrote, but that is important. And that she, he had taught her about the word important. Mm -hmm. And in that moment for him to be able to say, um, we need to re reschedule. And here I am coming from another country to just spend time. But he knew his priorities. Like in that moment, I felt so proud. Like, right. oh my God, okay. you know, here I am. If there's any martial arts, forget all the technical stuff. But if, if I was a cause for him to have this language, between him and his daughter, and and I, I, you know, it just kind of felt so right for him to say, "We we got to reschedule." Right. Like there was not a doubt in his mind because he knew what's important. I think that's the martial arts thing there, oh, right? Right. That's yeah, what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. That's... And for me, of all the stuff that we've done over there, a lot of public victories. 
this was a private victory for me. Like I just, you know, uh, and I didn't make this stuff up. You know, stuff have been around for forever, you know. But for him to recognize that moment, right. like um, that's important. And he went, and he had a great time. Came back a couple hours later. We continued our day. Never even mentioned it. You know, like he didn't make a big deal about. It. I didn't make a big deal about it. But I knew in my heart, like, oh, that was, that was a really touching thing for me. That was a huge private victory for him, and a big congratulation to him for, for being the man and being a father in that moment to know what's what's important. I think for especially for younger generations, and maybe as parents, too, we have the difference between important and urgent, yeah. it's such a wonderful discussion to have Absolutely. because urgently we need to do this, but is it really important, like that frantic nature that we have so much? I know at least I have with my daughters, the, whether it's I can't find my phone, which is not important, but seems urgent or getting to school on time, th 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 there's just different shades, but Absolutely. important Absolutely. versus urgent. Right, I love and for us to, uh, there's, a, there's a quadrant, right? So, because we, we, as, as the humans that we are, we gotta work on things that are urgent and important. That's like a no-brainer. Because we're, you know, but those are people who put out flyers, fires, you know, all the time you're putting out fires because you work on things that are important and urgent. Then there's times that we work on things that are not important, not even urgent. It's like, come on, you know, like, what are we doing this for? Then there's things that are not important, but they're urgent. Mm -hmm. Phone calls, emails, you know, whatever. But the quadrant that I really want to work on the most is the things that are important, but they're not urgent. And if you look at anything that has any value, it falls into that category. Yes. Planning, right. you know, saving a relationship, working on a relationship, you know. Yes, of course I could do it later, but it's important. Let's do it now. Yeah. You know, uh, anyway, so that was a big, big highlight for me from the Germany trip. Yeah.